Hey, 2021. Let's uh, let's talk about that. <laughs> 2021 for me for, was a um, a very odd year in the sense of there was a lot of amazing highs and a lot of drastic lows. There was a lot of moments that you know were incredibly life changing, and then a lot of other moments that you know I thought were life changing but were actually incredibly insignificant. Uh, it was just a weird year all the way around, and I I, I don't quite know how to explain how I feel about it, except for I'm feeling good about 2022. Um, to discuss some of the lows, um, well, the really the one low that I want to touch on is the burnout that I experienced in the middle of the year right after Memorial Day. Um, I was expecting way too much of myself, spreading myself entirely way too thin, way, way too thin. and um, you know, content creation as a hobby ended up, I ended up pretty much allowing it to completely take over my life. I stopped spending time with my wife. I, you know, just, I completely abused what the hobby was supposed to be. And it wasn't supposed to be something that I took so seriously that it took up every waking minute of my time. It was supposed to be a fun thing that I get to do and, you know, a new, a new hobby that I get to explore and a new set of talents and whatever. That being said, you can't talk about lows without also talking about highs, because if you only talk about lows, then you have flat land. <laughs> um, so some of the highs are, I mean, you're getting to experience it in real time with this camera. Um, I got a better camera. It's my uh, old camera from high school. It's a Canon EOS Rebel TI T3i. It's a fantastic little camera. It doesn't run at like 60 frames a second, but I don't think I need it to. The camera quality is insane. It lets in so much light. I literally only have, as far as lights are concerned, I have a lamp that's on behind my monitor. I have this ring light over here that you can't even tell what color it is because there's so much other light going on. And then my PC. And then I have like a little neon bat thingy up there. Um, but this thing lets in so much light. It's fantastic. Another high that ended up happening was Thorn ended up coming home. Uh, she's no longer in Florida. She's home, and that's, it's very cool. My mental health is worlds better. In just six months, it's worlds better than it was six months ago, six or seven months ago. And um, I feel great. Um, I'm not nearly as stressed out anymore. Um, I don't feel horrible. Um, it does, it, it flares up every now and again. I'm not going to lie to you. To get a little depressed every now and again, but that's that's normal. That's natural. That's an everyday part of life. You're going to be depressed, or going to be anxious, and it's just going to happen. It's how you learn to deal with it that truly matters. So that being said, I do have some goals for 2022, and I want to put my best foot forward, completely resetting the expectations that I have for myself in regards to uploading, streaming, content creation as like the whole package. Um, I'm not going to upload every single day. That was stupid of me to expect myself to do that. That was hours upon hours upon hours upon literal days worth of editing and not spending time with friends, not spending time with my wife, not spending time with anybody, but this, you know, this, this computer, <laughs> and, um, that's no way to live. If you're going to have a hobby, that's no way to live. Um, you need to be able to set time aside for the people who matter the things that are important. I got to thinking about it the other day. As a matter of fact, sometime last week, I got to thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute. There's this guy, Russian Badger. He creates some of the funniest videos I've seen on YouTube in a long time. And I've been watching YouTube since I was in like freaking middle school. He literally only uploads maybe once a month or something like that. And that's cool. You know, because he packs a lot into his videos. These are not like 10 to 15 minute long videos. They're like close to 45 minutes, almost an hour long. And there's a lot of information in there. And I think that's kind of where I want to go with my content. I'm not going to go and drop $32,000 on a mocap suit because I, A, if I had the money for a mocap suit for $32,000, I wouldn't be living in this apartment. And B, even if I did have the money, I'm the apartment that I'm currently in, there's not nearly enough space to have like a whole like place dedicated to just a, mo a motion capture suit. So I don't know that I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't know that I would ever do that. Actually. I think I would try it one time just for the, like for the funnies, but, um, for the most part, 
I don't, I don't see me going the route of a motion capture suit. That's just, that's too much. <laughs> um, I do plan on streaming at least once a week. Um, I want it to be kind of chill. If time and events fall into place where I'm able to stream more than once a week, fantastic. That's just more content that I'm going to have to edit. But I'm going to take my time editing the videos. And I want to upload, I'm going to say at least once a month. If I can manage to upload more than once a month, then we've smashed that goal easy peasy. I got a good feeling about 2022. I'm not going into it saying it's my year, but I'm saying I have a good feeling about it. It's going to be a very... How shall I say this? It's going to be a very productive year. There's going to be a lot of progress made. I don't necessarily know what kind of progress. I don't necessarily know productive how. I don't think any of that shit matters, if you ask me. Um, I think it's just going to be a productive year. And I think a lot of things are going to happen. A lot of things are going to change. It's going to be awesome. Maybe not for, like, everybody as, like, a whole. But, like, for me specifically, I can't wait to get it started. I think it's just going to be a very productive year. Whether that productivity goes in the direction that, like, we want it to or not, I don't think that matters. I think it's just going to be a productive year. So with that being said, thank you so much for uh, watching. Yeah, no, I, I kind of, I want to change up the way that I do my content. I want to be, I want to have a better mindset about it. I think 2022, is, I think the start of the year is a, is a good, a good place to kind of reshape. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to shut up now. This video is past 10 minutes, and I was not expecting it to be past 10 minutes, so whatever. Um, anyway, take it easy. Uh, I, uh, yeah, again, not good at intros. I'm just going to say bye. Bye! Bye!